Hi guys, today I will review Audi A4 B8 uh, by Xenon Headlight. I will explain you every single part consisting of the Xenon system of these headlights. Uh, to be more precise, this headlight is used from 2007 till 2012. That's to say, this headlight is used at pre-facive models of Audi A4 B8 uh, models. So, let's start. First of all, I want to show you the uh, Xenon ballast. It's located at site. And basically, it's responsible to power your Xenon bulb. In this case, this headlight is a bi-Xenon one. That's to say, your Xenon bulb is both low beam and high beam bulb. This one is as stated, your xenon ballast powering your xenon bulb. You will need T20 to remove the Torx T20 to remove the uh, screws. The xenon ballast has a part number 8K0941 597. Basically, this one is the first version. There are uh, other versions as well. The ending letter, there are a, uh, other versions with ending letters B. The ending letter B is Keboda made. There is another version ending with uh, letter C. And here, as you can see, there, uh, there is completely uh, different shape, but it's totally interchangeable. Uh, the part number, Audi part number is the same, just ending with E. These two Xenon ballasts, are completely interchangeable and by the way after a while one or two years Audi started to uh, fit exactly this ballast to the newer models as stated this is your xenon ballast it powers your xenon bulb let me show you your system in action Here, as you can see, it's a very simple system, consists of one ballast and one D3S type xenon bulb. So, in case of a low beam failure or high beam failure, if you're, uh, in other words, if your xenon bulb, bulb is not working, then it means that it could, uh, given that all other uh, wiring, uh, wiring issues are okay or the fuses are okay, Either your xenon ballast is faulty or your xenon bulb. Let me remove the xenon ballast. This is your system. Here. The second part that I will review is your <coughs> LED daytime running light module. Again, you will need T20 Torx to remove your DRL module, daytime running light module. This module has nothing to do with your low beam or your high beam. It, it only uh, powers your LED strip it's responsible to power your LED strips. So, if your LED strip is not working, that's to say if your daytime, daytime running light is not working, if your LED uh, strip inside is okay, it means that you have to replace your uh, LED module. The LED module has a part number 8K0907472, ending with letter A or without the letter A, they are same. I want to show you also the completely interchangeable, the same module, just it has a I, uh, AL uh, marking here, as you can see as the other one, but they are completely interchangeable. The part number 1, 307, 329, 218. These two modules are completely interchangeable. If you have a fault, 
if you have a, a, a faulty uh, LED module, then you can source one of these to repair your LED fault. <clears throat> this is for the LED model. The third part that I want to show you, although this one is non-adaptive headlight, if you have an adaptive, adaptive version of this headlight, you will have at the bottom uh, one more xenon part. Actually, it's uh, responsible for the IFS uh, uh, function of your headlight. Nothing to do again with your low beam or your high beam. So, if you have an adaptive type xenon headlight at your uh, Audi A4 B8 uh, prefacive model, then you will have at the bottom of your headlight this IFS module. This IFS module is responsible to command your uh, projector to turn to the right or to the left depending on your steering wheel position and this that's to say this uh, IFS module commands your cornering function the part number for the IFS module is 8k0941329 and you have to find exactly this uh, uh, part number this module there are a lot of uh, same shape, same plug uh, module configurations out there with different part numbers from Audis, from Mercedes, from uh, <coughs> other makes and models. But uh, don't waste your time if they do not have exactly this part number and if they are not Audi Volkswagen part, part number. 8K0941329, then it will not work. Be careful. Your uh, system at your car will, uh, will search for exactly for this IFS module and the program in inside. So, no. this is the third part. I want to show you also the, the bulb. How, how to change your bulb. If you have a bulb failure, here, as you can see, your uh, xenon bulb is D3S type. If you have a burnout bulb, you have to just buy D3S type xenon bulb. It's very easy to replace the xenon bulb once the headlight is out of place. Uh, you just have to turn a quarter turn counterclockwise and then it will be released you have the only another thing to do the, to remove the plug and let me show you also how to put it basically you have to uh, put your xenon bulb at 11 o'clock position like this you will feel that once it's in place, you will feel that it's uh, in place. And then after, after that, you just have to turn clockwise a quarter turn. And of course, then <clears throat> you have to put the plug. By the way, you can make this operation also with inserted plug if you feel that it will be more easier because the cable is a little bit uh, long it allows you to make this operation you can put the the, the bulb with inserted plug here <clears throat> that's the way how to replace your xenon bulb and the, the xenon bulb was the fourth main part that consisting of this headlight xenon system i hope this video helps you to repair your xenon headlight don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching guys if you have any questions by the way you have always drop down in the comment sections i will try to answer them as soon as possible thanks for uh, watching guys all the best bye for now